Welcome to station four of your Evidence for Evolution lab, and here we're going to be looking at whale phylogeny. Uh, we just chose a whale. We don't have to specifically look at whales. Um, and phylogeny should be a word that you um, should be able to recall from taxonomy. Again, if you don't recall that term, go ahead and please look back at your mini glossary at the front of your packet um, to help refresh your memory. Phylogeny can be found down here in the middle of your page. What we're going to be doing in, um, in this station of the lab is we're going to be looking at how can we use fossil evidence, how can we um, <clears throat> analyze stuff that's been buried in the earth and kind of use it to build a story of how an organism evolved. How can we use it to identify what we call transitional species um, that, you know, kind of connect the dots from this beginning organism to what it is today, what it's evolved to today. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, go ahead and get one of these handouts from your station. Um, and it's got six uh, different kind of, of organisms here. Uh, and all of them are part of the evolutionary line of the whale what you know is as the whale today. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to cut them out. So you're going to have to get out a scissors, cut them out. Um, and you're going to have to put them in order in which you think that these um, different organisms evolve to become that whale species that we know of um, as the whale today. Uh, the numbers on the side mean absolutely nothing. You can put them in any order that you think. But you are going to have to be able to justify why you think those um, organisms belong in the order that you put them in. And what you're going to do once you cut them out, you put them in the order that you believe that they should go in, you're going to go ahead and you're going to tape them down uh, to the sheet of paper right here. Notice down here that it says when you're making those observations and trying to decide what order you want to put those things in, observe the forelimbs and the hind limbs to figure out whether or not you've put them in the correct order. Those things will probably give you uh, the most accurate information. Once you've completed that, then you need to do your lab for um, your, your questions here. Uh, you need to give me your observations. Um, you need to kind of tell me what structures those things have in common. Uh, you need to talk a little bit about uh, vestigial structures that you're able to observe. And then you need to kind of explain to me why you put those things in the order that you did and explain to me why you think the whale evolved in that way. What uh, caused these things to happen in the order that they happened in. And then what I'd like you to do is go ahead and double check your answer, double check your work by watching the YouTube video that is listed down here at the bottom of your sheet. It should be pulled up on the computer that's at your station. Uh, but if it's not, go ahead and open that up for yourself. And then notice here this important note. Um, when you're done watching the video, please exit out of the window so that your classmates don't see it and uh, ruin their opportunity to uh, have a learning experience at this station. So we are going to look at the evolution of a whale by looking at its vestigial structures and its homologous structures in this lab.